It's a witty kind of carefree. Oh, yeah? Well, then we're even. I think your ads are stupid. <laughs> Thanks for answering my ad, Mr. Monroe. It's just Monroe. One word, like Picasso. Or Cher. Or Satan. And I can start immediately. I've read every Caroline strip. I have every Caroline book, every Caroline calendar, every Caroline greeting card, especially the get well ones. <laughs> I do have a few more people to oh, interview. Oh, but you don't understand, Carolyn. I don't just want to work for you. I want to be you. No, you don't. Go oh, home. People even tell me I look like you. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, hey, Annie, I thought you were in Atlantic City. When'd you get back? Last night. Well, how'd you do? I got lucky. Huh. Hmm. See you, Lucky. <laughs> So what's going on with you, huh? Del and I had a big fight and broke up. Get out of here. How could you break up with Del? You had such great hair. I know, Annie, but I wanted a little more. He could grow it. I'm tired of ending up like this. I'm gonna take a break from guys. You know, I'm gonna hang out with my friends, go to the museums. Oh, God. Why is it every time you break up with a guy, I end up at a museum? <laughs> Who is it? Richard Korinsky. I'm here about the job. Come on up, second floor. Hey, listen, I gotta get ready for work, but I'll come over when I get home. You keep busy today. Don't remind me. I've got a one o'clock meeting with Dell at the card company. You know, I hate to say I told you so. Well, actually, I like saying that. <laughs> but I warned you not to get involved with guys you work with. I never do. Yeah, you never get involved with guys who have jobs. <laughs> I love being your friend. <laughs> Whatever happened to the good old days when you'd break up with a guy and he'd just disappear? You never had any good old days. All your relationships end badly. You say that like it's my fault. Well, the old lady in Murder, She Wrote never thinks it's her fault, but every time she shows up at a dinner party, someone dies. <laughs> you know, and after a while, she's got to start thinking, hey. <laughs> so, you're familiar with Caroline? I think my dentist has one of your calendars. It's that stringy-haired girl who's always trying on bathing suits with her mom, right? No, that's Kathy. Boy, is my face red. You know, you seem more than qualified for this job. I am. Well, why do you want it? Money. Seems I won't be able to make a living as a real artist until after I'm dead. Bummer, huh? Totally. Oh, great. You have a cat. Oh, this is Salty. Actually, her real name is Salt. See, I had a Pepper, too, but Pepper ran away a year ago. He was a male, so typical. <laughs> and since Salt is a weird name by itself... I How anecdotal. <laughs> Can you please just uh, make it disappear? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you allergic? No, I just don't like cats or dogs or anything that runs up to you and pees on your feet when you come home. <laughs> Well, then, we may have a problem because I tend to get fairly excited when people come over. <laughs> Not even a smile. Well, um, you know, I have quite a few more people to interview, but I'll be in touch. No, you won't. Excuse me? I've had enough of these interviews to know the signs. Look, I just really appreciate if you tell me now I didn't get the job so I don't have to waste my time sitting by the phone, which they're about to turn off anyway. No, Mr. Krinsky, I will call. Okay. Really? Okay, fine. You can uh, reach me at my apartment for the next 24 hours, and after that, here's the number of the shelter. <laughs> but no pressure. <laughs> okay, Mr. Krinsky, maybe we can try this out. Okay, I don't come in before 10, I don't work weekends, and I need at least an hour and a half for lunch. Uh, it's about that time now. See you at 2. <laughs> It's nice working for you. <laughs>